Good evening. It's no secret it can be difficult getting along with the people who live next to you. But one Richmond Hill man says his neighbor's bad habits are now forcing him to call them out in a very public way. There are people that are throwing cigarettes and spitting uh, down on our from above, and, oh. and it's just ridiculous. We can't use our patio because of it. Wayne Russell is getting vocal and visual, informing his neighbors in any way he can about some disgusting behavior on the part of some of the other residents who throw cigarette butts and even spit onto their ground floor balcony from the floors above. Wayne has even put up a large sign, politely but emphatically, asking people to cease and desist. We've been here for what a year and a half almost mm -hmm. and since day one we've been experiencing cigarette butts landing on our patio to the point of burning our furniture and so we just couldn't use it. Now again it's starting all over and it's just you know getting tons and tons of cigarettes and now spitting. They're gobbing down big huge ugly just gross a spit. Wayne says this is a brand new beautiful condo building in Richmond Hill and he's not the only one with the same complaint. Since Wayne put up his sign today he's hearing many similar stories. This neighbor says he's even witnessed a beer bottle getting tossed onto the ground. This is a culture I do believe the condominium culture it should be different people who are living upstairs so they have to respect every, to, who, who's individuals who's living down, right? Wayne and Bobby have both complained to the property manager and the condo board who have expressed sympathy for the problem and even sent out letters to the offending homeowners, but to no avail. They don't have any power to do much more than just send them in a letter. We need to be able to, you know, find them $500 or do something that can make it hurt in their pocketbook for what they're doing to us. Residents are also concerned that their condo fees will go up when the artificial turf in the common area terrace becomes so damaged by butts it has to be replaced. I'm going to be like, no. I don't want to pay for that. You bill those individuals that I've been identifying over the past few years because this is crazy. Wayne Russell says the property manager told him in an email she'd bring the issue up at the next board meeting, but he says that was in November and nothing has changed. City News reached out to the condo's property management company as well. They did not want to appear on camera and did not provide us with a statement. That story was brought to our attention by a City News viewer. If you have a news tip you want us to look into, you can get in touch with us by email, phone, or submitting a tip through our website, citynews.ca.